The Yeti is just one of many names for the large hairy creatures said to live in remote wildernesses around the world. In North America, they're called Sasquatch. In Sumatra, the Orang Pendek. And in Russia, they have many more local names. For centuries in Russia, these creatures have been, have been sighted, have been described. Very tall, very hairy, very large feet. In the Caucasus, they're referred to as the Almasti. In the Urals, the Meg. In Siberia, the Kakasha. But all of these tend to get clumped together and often referred to generically as the Yeti. The fact that indigenous Russian people thousands of miles apart have described creatures with the exact same characteristics lends support to the idea that they exist. There's more to this than simply folklore. There seems to be a biological basis. These creatures are reported in areas where the habitat would support a large primate of this type. Dense forest, remote mountainous regions. The northern Urals, where the students were found, is one of the most remote locations in the world, a perfect spot for a yeti to survive. I'm confident that there is some form of creature existing today in Russia. Russian Yeti, the killer lives. Sunday, June 1st, part of Monster Weekend on Discovery.